out here in Mojave and uh, we're about to drive a section of the Mojave Road. Um, we're not going to do the whole thing, we're not going to do the end with the water crossing, um, but we're going to go out here and uh, find somewhere to camp. So we're airing down for the second time today. <laughs> there was a mishap. Yes, I was in a hurry. We went to get gas and I forgot to put the gas cap back on, our locking gas cap. Fortunately, we were able to go back into Baker and uh, we found out a, a truck repair stop. A random dude with a tow yeah. truck who was parked outside a truck repair stop. He probably charges twice the price, but you know what? He that's charges okay. $20 for replacing that's the probably, gas that's cap. Not, that's not too um, but we didn't have to drive into Vegas to get it. Yeah. So. so the lesson is don't be in a hurry because I messed up. Yeah. Don't be in a hurry. And also leave your key and your locking gas cap so you can't leave it out. Yes, I don't do that usually. That's a lesson I learned today. Last entry. Today's the 28th, I think. 28th, last day of February. A lot of entries for 228. Yeah. So, how is it? It's been cold in the 30s, but it's been beautiful. I know, I think we've already acclimated to our Hawaii temperatures, but now we have to get used to these temperatures. Hopefully I brought enough layers. What's for breakfast this morning? Just the usual, oatmeal. Some bananas, some peanut butter, some raisins, all that stuff. <laughs> that sounds so good, that's my favorite. Here, come eat. Time to air up. We're about to uh, get off the Mojave Road and uh, go and explore somewhere else. So this looks promising. There's some uh, abandoned equipment. And we may just find what we're looking for out here. We made it! Yeah, this is what we were looking for. Um, wasn't, wasn't too bad? So yeah, I'm not going to say the name of this. Um, it's kind of a secret. Uh, but this is a volunteer cabin. We're still in the uh, Mojave area. Um, so yeah, let's see if this is habitable. This might be our spot for a couple of days. Um, I think this is the main door. Let's go through here. You can actually, you can see another cabin off there. I don't know if you guys can see that in the distance. Let me see if you can zoom in. Yeah, right there you can see. There's another cabin off in the distance. All right, so here's the flag. This is kind of like a porch area. Um, there's a shower. Um, definitely not gonna be taking a shower. It's probably about 50 degrees up here. Um, so it's really cold. Okay, let's go inside. Oh my gosh, this is so cute! Let me show you guys the view out the window. There's a swing out there. How cool is that? Keep bedroom doors closed. Keeps mice from setting into kitchen bunk room. Okay. Oh look, here's a bunk room. Um, this one doesn't have a stove, so it's probably pretty cold in here. Various pumps for your air mattress, a uh, pair of shoes in case you have a job interview. Let's see. I think this is the bedroom door. Oh, yeah, here you go. Wow, it's actually really warm in here because this is on the warm side of the house. Oh, look, it's got little sad curtains. Chessboard. More bunks. I'm trying not to pan this too fast so I don't. Uh, give you guys motion sickness. Keep going, there's a, there's a big wow. step down. 
Oh, and now I'm kind of like on a little porch area. Oh, this is really cool. Here's a bunch of photos of the cabin, like in the old days. So this is 1937. Um, let's see. Here it is in 1928. How cool is that? That's really awesome. Yeah, just pick your way through, I guess. So we saw this other cabin and we're just going to walk over here. It's maybe, you know, two tenths of a mile away. Um, so we're kind of picking our way through the desert and uh, Tina's got a beer. This one's delicious. Ow. I just stepped on a yucca. This is like fruit juice, mango cart. What is it? Golden Road? I like it. Yeah, so we're just going to walk over here and make sure this cabin isn't better than the one we've got. This cabin looks pretty cool too. So we're gonna have a look and uh, see what we think. We may like this one even better. Okay, so let me open the door. So I may shut off the video abruptly if I see something that has the name on it. Yeah, we don't want to identify it. Yeah. Oh. New glass, new door, fancy. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I don't know if you guys saw that. I'm going to cut that out. Oh my gosh, I think I like this one better. I like this one better. Look, it has flowers on the table. So we actually like this cabin so much more than the other one that we're going to uh, stay here tonight instead of where we were before. So Tina's putting the flag up and then we're going to uh, walk back over there and get our Jeep and uh, take the flag down at the other cabin so somebody else can have it. Although it doesn't seem like these cabins really get full during the week, mostly on weekends. We were um, at a cabin not that far from here. I don't know, maybe 15 or 20 miles from here over um, Thanksgiving two years ago. And we only saw one group of people show up to check the cabin during that time. So it's pretty quiet around here during the week. You okay, Bab? Yeah, I just want to angle it. There we go. That looks delicious. Yeah, we're going to have some uh, tofu and vegetables with some ramen. That looks delicious. Some broccoli, carrots, mushrooms. All right, so uh, we had a good night in the cabin last night. It dropped down to around uh, 25 degrees overnight outside. Um, but we were able to keep the stove going enough to keep it where it dropped to maybe like 40 inside. Um, and then I warmed it back up this morning with another fire, so we had a, a pretty good night. Um, it, was, it was cozy. It was cozy. Yeah, we weren't too cold. We weren't any colder than we were in the Jeep the other night, so we're definitely a little more comfortable inside. All right, so uh, we've been out exploring a little bit, and uh, don't shiver yet. You'll be warm in a minute. I we're gonna, so. <laughs> we're about to go for a run. So uh, we're just going to run a little five mile loop. Um, altitude's a, a little more here than we're used to. We've been training at sea level, uh, but we've also been training in probably 100% humidity and 70 degrees. So I don't know if we're going to be faster or slower today. We'll see. Here comes Tina catching up. She's having a little bit more trouble with the altitude than I am. Update. The, uh, Altitude in the deep sand has become a factor, so we're having to walk a little bit of mile three. Uh, but I think we've also discovered another mine up here. Okay, so there's like a little explosive storage shed. There's this old trailer. Wow, that seems like a good Yeah, that thing's trash. And there's a bus up here. Okay, so there's this. Uh, it's yellow, it looks like an old school bus. Oh, it looks like it's been set on fire at one point. It's all burned out. It's like a bunch of trash and stuff in it. The roof's melted off. That's crazy. So I forgot to, to pause my watch. 
so I'm sure I'm going to be running like a 13 minute mile. Alright, so we just came over the hill and there's another little uh, abandoned mining camp up here. Five days on the road and we already have to do laundry? Yeah, well mostly we need to wash masks. But I'm also washing a pair of pants and uh, we had a little mishap at the gas with the uh, gas tank and I got some gas on one set of clothes. So we're kind of working through the process here. So after watching all this with the uh, cabins, you're probably wanting to know where this cabin is um, and how you can stay here. So I'm not going to tell you the exact location of this cabin and I'm not going to tell you the name of it, um, but I will tell you that these volunteer cabins can be found um, throughout California and um, I hear there's some in Arizona too. I haven't been there yet. Um, but if you do end up staying at one of these volunteer cabins or visiting one, um, please don't put the location on social media. You can talk about it. I'm not gonna be one of those gatekeepy people that says, you know, this is for me and for nobody else because ultimately these cabins are on public land. Um, they belong to me, they belong to you, they belong to everybody. Um, but use good sense, you know, don't post GPS coordinates, um, don't post directions, you know. You should do a little work to find them. Um, and when you do stay here, you know, uh, take something, leave something, clean up after yourself, leave things a little better than you found them. Um, and also be really careful because these are historic buildings. So we want to make sure that we're leaving them in as good condition as we found them. So we are actually about to leave. Um, we got everything cleaned up, shoveled out the stove. We've uh, reorganized the Jeep. Um, we're doing a lot better now that we don't have two extra bags of groceries sitting on the floor. Um, so we're a little more organized now and we are about to head out to Arizona. So we will pick you guys up there next week. See you soon.